Good evening. Today on Russia, it was a whole new President Trump. He called out the Kremlin for election interference. He said it plainly without any hedging at all, except his version of Russian interference doesn't exactly square with reality. I'm very concerned, he tweeted, that Russia will be fighting very hard to have an impact on the upcoming election. So if he left his tweet right there, you might think, well, finally, finally, he's actually expressing concern about Russia attacking our democracy again. If he left it right there, you might think that President Trump is finally unambiguously saying what multiple intelligence agencies have been saying, that Russia remains interested in attacking the upcoming U.S. elections. But he didn't end it there. He then added this. Based on the fact that no president has been tougher on Russia than me, they will be pushing very hard for the Democrats. They definitely don't want Trump. They definitely don't want Trump, he said. Even though last week Russia's president admitted he did favor Mr. Trump, at least in the last election, which is what intelligence agencies had been saying for a long time, but Putin finally admitted it. President Putin, did you want President Trump to win the election, and did you direct any of your officials to help him do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because he talked about bringing the U.S.-Russia relationship back to normal. Okay, so now suddenly President Trump says the Russians actually don't like him, despite what Putin just said, which is weird because not only did Putin say he'd like Trump in the last election, President Trump in that same press conference in Helsinki said that because of that Helsinki summit, relations with Russia had suddenly changed in a matter of hours. He said that. It was recorded. Everyone heard that. Let's play it. Our relationship has never been worse than it is now. However, that changed as of about four hours ago. Okay, so was that true? The truth is we have no idea because we still have no solid word on what the two presidents actually talked about behind closed doors. But if it was true then, how come it's no longer true now and they suddenly want the Democrats? What changed since Helsinki, if anything? And when it comes to Russian interference for President Trump, what changed from all the times he's undercut the idea that Russia interfered in the election at all? I mean, it could be Russia, but it could also be China. It could also be lots of other people. It also could be somebody sitting on their bed that weighs 400 pounds, okay? Maybe there is no hacking, but they always blame Russia. And the reason they blame Russia, because they think they're trying to tarnish me with Russia. I know nothing about Russia. They have no idea if it's Russia or China or somebody. It could be somebody sitting in a bed someplace. I mean, they have no idea. As far as hacking, I think it was Russia, but I think we also get hacked by other countries and other people. Knowing something about hacking, if you don't catch a hacker, okay, in the act, it's very hard to say who did the hacking. Well, I think it was Russia, and I think it could have been other people in other countries. Uh, could have been a lot of people interfered. I accept our intelligence community's conclusion that Russia's meddling in the 2016 election took place. Could be other people also. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. So as recently as a week ago, the president could not simply acknowledge what happened last time around, according to the intelligence agencies. When it comes to the next election, though, suddenly he's all in. All in that, for some reason, the Russians now want the Democrats to win. So did the president somehow develop new faith in the intelligence in speaking with Vladimir Putin? It doesn't seem like it, because the president is still attacking the intelligence community. Just yesterday, he launched plans to yank the security clearances of former top intelligence officials, some of whom were the very people who warned him about Russian interference during the 2016 campaign. He continues to attack the Russia probe, calls the Russia story a hoax. But now he's also warning about the Russian threat, except with this democratic twist. So what changed? Well, today, Secretary of State Pompeo was asked about what happened behind closed doors between the two presidents. What is your understanding of the agreements that were made between President Trump and President Putin there? And the president's been clear about some of the things that were agreed to. We're going to begin to put together a business council. There'll be places we'll start uh, uh, track two processes. There were, there were many things that came from what I view as an incredibly important meeting between uh, President Trump and President Putin, one that I'm, I think the world will have benefited from when history is written. Not easy to write history, though, when there's no one actually taking notes. In any case, it's hard to glean much from that. In fact, Pompeo doesn't say he knows all of what was discussed. He said the president has been clear about some of the things that were agreed to, which means also he hasn't been clear about all the things that were agreed to. He says that many things came from this important meeting, but offers really zero specifics on what they might be. Now, maybe you think we're reading too much into what Pompeo just said and, and didn't say, but yesterday the White House wouldn't even talk about what the Secretary of State or the Secretary of Defense, Mattis, have been told about the meeting that neither one of them attended. 
Uh, the president has met and spoken with all of those individuals since his meeting with President Putin. When he briefs them, is he relying solely on his own memory to tell them what happened during that two-hour meeting? Uh, the president has met and consulted with all of his national security team, and we feel very confident. It's, in those it's on what process. he remembers that happened. It's not. Caitlin, like I'm not going to go into the specific details on how the president uh, interacts every single time with his national security team. Well, notice she said the president has met and spoken with his national security team. But were they actually fully briefed by the president on exactly what was said or agreed to between him and Putin? We have no idea. The White House isn't even claiming he fully briefed them. They just said he met and spoke with them. Not surprisingly, the Russians have been eager to fill this information vacuum. Russia's ambassador saying Presidents Trump and Putin reached key unwritten deals during their talk, which focused, he says, on Syria and Ukraine. So that's where we're at tonight. Russia's leader suddenly seeming more transparent than America's. And if that doesn't make you concerned, I'm not sure what will.